Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the I Don't Even Know podcast. I'm Em, I hope you all are doing well. So today's episode is kind of going to be a little bit different in a way. Not really, but it kind of is. In honor of it being three years since I finished Pretty Little Liars, even though I will admit it right, right now, I am three months late. I finished it in August of 2019. I've been meaning to do it since then, but shit just kept coming up. So I was never able to, but here we are. Here we are now. So in honor of that, I wanted to do like a Pretty Little Liars special episode thing, just because of how much I love it. Even though it had its flaws, it f- and it fucked up multiple times. I wanted to do it because I love it so much. And so I talked to people on Twitter, like Pretty Little Liar fans and everything, and they sent me in some topics they wanted me to talk about and some questions. So that's how this episode's going to go. And yeah, I hope you all enjoy. And so I'm just going to jump right in now. I'm going to start with the topics and then go into the questions later. So the first question, or not question topic is so Faye underscore K L R wanted me to talk about the character developments of like of the characters. So that's the first thing I'm gonna talk about. So you know with each character they had they all had their flaws. Like I mean everyone does especially a few of them. There were quite a few who's messed up multiple times but then they had good character development some of them got worse in time and by the end of the season they were awful and i think the person who had the best character development to me was probably toby in season one kind of i mean don't get me wrong he messed up so many times i love toby with my whole heart he was one of my favorite characters i absolutely adore him and i love him and spencer but that man did fuck up so many times after that and he just did some stupid shit like okay i get it everyone did some stupid things in that show it's just like what you when you get involved with the girls you're gonna like do some stupid things pretty much but you know even though he did fuck up like later on and stuff he did probably have the best character development or one of the best in my opinion just from how we used to think he was a murderer or everyone thought he was a murderer and it was a everyone thought he killed allison he was a and all of that and did a lot of other stuff and like made jenna blind because everyone thought that too because the girls lied about it and he turned out to be like a sweetheart like an angel and I'll be honest, I never really thought he was A. I don't know why. There was just something about him to me like that made me like him so much and I just didn't believe it. I was at first I was kind of like on it and like, okay, maybe because I wasn't reading into it as much. I wasn't like trying to figure out who A was. But then after a few episodes, I kind of thought about him. Like, I don't think it's him. I think he's just misunderstood and everyone thinks he's a freak and a creep or whatever but he's not he's actually really sweet and i'm really happy i was right about that because i absolutely adore him and even in season one in episode four i started really liking him i think it was episode four but when he started talking to emily and him and emily kind of started being friends i fell in love with him just because he was just such an angel he was so nice and you could just tell he meant no harm and yes i like i said before he did some stupid things especially later on in the show but he did have the best character development or maybe not the best but one of the best like from the beginning when we all thought he was a killer and he turned out to be an angel like a sweetheart i fucking love him and then i also think allison had a pretty good character development kind of i do really like allison or i like her i don't really like her I have my issues with her because some of the stuff she did like, before was so messed up and so so stupid and such a bad thing to do. So I have my issues with her, but at the end of it, I started liking her and I really did like her in The Perfectionist as well she, because she grew up and she's she matured and she had some good growth. It, in the beginning, when we saw the flashbacks and everything, she was awful. And in season five, she was getting better but she was still pretty bad. I mean, she did some stupid things. But in season six, I think we kind of saw like her development and saw her getting better. 
I think. I mean, I don't I don't know why I don't remember. I think that's when I saw it. Like her, she was like was growing and getting a lot better, becoming a better person. And then in season 7, she was a lot better as well, and that's when I really started to love her. I didn't like her at the beginning though because she's just such seemed like such a bitch. And I am usually like the bitchy characters, and if you are n- not new, I think you probably know that. I think I've said that before. But I didn't like her. There was just something about her that made me hate her. And I think it was just probably because she was, I mean, not, she wasn't only a bitch, she was awful. Like, the bitchy characters I like have a soft side and are actually nice at times, and it depends. And have not only that, but also have some trauma they're dealing with. And I I mean, Allison did as well, kind of, but not really at the time maybe she did i actually don't really remember what was going on at that time i think i don't know i don't think so i'm trying to figure it out i don't know why i don't remember this but you know i think probably allison did have some trauma at that point like before she went missing and everything but i don't remember i don't know why i mean okay the characters i like that are mean they're not that bad and i personally don't think they are they were just, they didn't manipulate people like Allison did, and they weren't, like, that awful. I mean, Allison was, like, a manipulator in the first season, or in all the flashbacks, she was. She was awful, and I'm happy she got a lot better, and she grew, and I fucking loved her in The Perfectionist. She was so good in that show, and I, like, adore her. I also love Sasha so fucking much i adore that girl so much i just love allison now thankfully like i don't love her as much as i love like half the other characters but i've grown to like her a lot more than i used to and she's had some good development and who else who else had good character development not ezra i can tell you that that man deserves to go to jail and i will stand by that till the day i die you know when i watched it I kind of shipped them in season one. I don't know why. I think I just did. I know a lot of other people did as well. And now people are like, oh my gosh, this is not good. This is awful. It's illegal. And now that I've grown like a bit more and like read about things and just know a lot more now and like a lot, I'm a lot smarter now and I'm like aware of more things, I know how wrong it was. I think I knew how wrong it was then, but I just made an exception for some reason. And I'm not really sure why I did that, but like now I hate them together. It gets so messed up. I know if I rewatched the show, I would hate him from the start. And I mean, I still do. I hate him now. I think I always didn't like him, but I kind of liked th- um, them together. I don't know. I don't know why I liked them. It's really confusing me why I did that because like, now hate him. And I am happy he didn't have a character development and didn't become better just because I feel like they would that would be like, them pushing it, maybe. I mean, Part of me kind of wanted it, maybe so he would realize, oh, shit, this is wrong. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't be dating my student. Actually, yeah, so maybe they should have had a character development with him and he would realize, oh, this is wrong. I need to stop doing this. But then maybe if they did that, like, it would not change anything and not Allison, Aria would just think he was this amazing person, which he's not. He's a pedophile, like... And I get in season seven, they, they were adults, or not they, she was an adult, and they, he, why do I keep saying the wrong thing? She wasn't his student anymore, but that doesn't make up for it. It's still wrong to me, like, I just, I don't like it. And I, in the moment when I watched the finale, I was happy that they were endgame, but now I'm pissed off. I just, I just don't like it. I fucking hate it. And yeah, I'm trying to think of who else had the good character development not many of them did i don't think some of them did i think to me some of them started off great and i like loved them from the start or halfway through season one or two i like started loving them and then they just went downhill and they got worse and more unlikable that might just be me i don't know why i feel that way i just do it wasn't for a lot of them. It was just some of them just got even worse and more unlikable. But again, that might just be me. But I do think Toby had the best character development out of anyone on the show. I mean, he just did. He just became like one of the best characters on the damn show. 
And I will stand by that till the day I die. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next topic. What is this? Okay, I haven't read the topics in such a long time. So they are kind of going to be maybe a surprise to me. And I'm probably not going to know what to say. So the first, or not the first, the next one is from Homesick LSM. And they wanted me to talk about how I think the moms got out of the basement. Because it was never clear. So, I don't really know. I've never thought about this. I don't know why I never thought about this. I just after it happened, I just kind of moved on. Like, there's some things in shows that I will just move past, like, pretty fast if I just don't care enough about it. But thinking about it now, I want to know what happened. I kind of forgot. I'm pretty sure they were stuck in there for, like, a long-ass time. But I feel like probably maybe one of the husbands not what's 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 mr hastings name okay i don't know his name so mr hastings i think he probably maybe showed up because it's his house or maybe spencer did or the police or like they had to climb out somehow of that window i think there was a window they showed maybe i'm not sure i think probably that oh wait i forgot they weren't even at the hastings house so maybe not it might have been allison or the police came over to investigate something i guess i don't know i really wish they made it clear i know they brought it up in the last episode but they never said what happened and that's really upsetting to me because i want to know i hate like not being clear on something that's happened in a show it just pisses me off so much and i'm mad they never said anything maybe they have i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know if they did maybe they have recently and i'm just not aware of it and if they did say exactly what happened please comment because i would really really like to know even though i said i like don't care or not that i don't care i just haven't really thought about it much since like it happened and i just kind of moved on i still want to know because i would it doesn't make sense why that even happened in the first place i don't know why they were stuck down there i kind of forgot but also, I just want to know, like, how, how did they get out? I hate when they leave those plot holes, even though it's, like, not that big of one. It's just kind of a side one because it's, it's the moms. But I would like to know. But, yeah, okay. So, the next topic that they gave me is they wanted me to talk about all the things we didn't get answers for or, like, about. Which is kind of a hard thing to talk about, I think, to, for me personally because... I kind of forgot all the things they didn't answer for us. There was quite a bit. I know that. It's because there was such, like, not such, so much going on in this damn show that it's hard for me to remember what they didn't answer, even though I know it was probably a lot. No. What? Oh, okay. Actually, I remember one thing that they didn't get, we didn't kind of get an answer to, which I would like. That I wanted them to, and I wish they brought it up, is what exactly happened to Caleb in Ravenswood. Because, you know, I did not watch the show all the way through. I went to episode five. It was awful. I hated it. Or it was episode four. I don't know. I just didn't like it, and I didn't like how they took a supernatural like, turn on Pretty Little Liars and all that. So I stopped watching it, which says a lot because I did say before in another episode recently that i have never given up on a show and i kind of did forget about this this is the one show i've given up on i've never given up on any other show than this one and it shows how bad it's had has to be for me to actually stop and never go back to it that just kind of says a lot so i mean i wish they did bring that up though because even though i don't care about that storyline or any of that I kind of wish they brought it up and it's not just that Caleb randomly showed up and came back for no reason or he came back for a reason probably something happened but he came back after saying he had to stay there and I mean Hannah broke up because of it and everything and whatever happened there they never brought it up again and I think it probably was because the show kind of failed or wasn't a success and probably really bad maybe that was the reason but i wish they did bring it up even though i don't really care i wish they said something about him being gone it's something about like what happened but that did not happen and it's okay i mean i part of me probably doesn't even want to know what happened at the end of that show so i might be okay with it but i don't know what else was unanswered i know 
besides, I know a lot was unanswered, but I'm not sure what. So I'm just going to move on to the next one that they said because I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, if I think of it, I might just, I'll put it in the comment section if I think of anything that was unanswered. But, so the next thing they wanted me to talk about is the new reboot and the perfectionist. So the new reboot is Pretty Little Liars, Original Sin, if you didn't know. And I watched both of them. I watched Perfectionist and Original Sin. And before I start talking about them, I do want to say that just in case you haven't seen it, you might want to skip because I, will, I might spoil something. And so this is your chance to like move along so I don't spoil it for you. Okay, so now with Perfectionist... I am really upset that it got canceled because I really did enjoy it. I was upset about Allison and Emily divorce and everything. I was super upset about that because I really did like them. I like Emily and Maya more. Like I wanted them to be Endgame, of course. But I did like Emily and Allison. They were my second favorite Emily ship. And they were my favorite Allison ship. And so I was really upset about that. But I heard that they were going to fix it in season two apparently marlene said they were gonna get back together or rekindle in season two i'm not sure if that's 100 percent true i don't even know where i heard about that so it might not be true but i wish they got renewed just to give it a chance and i know emerson shipper stopped watching it because of that and i get it but it still upsets me that it got canceled especially on that damn cliffhanger i'm still so upset about that because I'm going to be honest here and now and say something really stupid that I did with The Perfectionist. I watched it, or no, I started it before I watched Pretty Little Liars because I just didn't think about it. And also, Sophia Carson is in it, and I was such a big Sophia Carson fan, and I still absolutely adore her, but I wanted to watch it for her. And so I watched it like a few months before I watched Pretty Little Liars, and I stopped after episode two or three, or f it might have been four, I stopped watching it, and then I watched Pretty Little Liars a few months later, and then went back to it. Like, I think I went back to it a few months after, almost a year after I watched Pretty Little Liars. I'm pretty sure I watched it. I don't think it was exactly a year, but it was close. I, I finally watched it. I really did like it. It was really good, and I didn't remember much of it because I think maybe it was because I had no idea the backstory of pretty little liars i knew almost nothing i don't think i knew anything actually besides allison like went missing i think that's all i knew going into it the first time so i did of course stop and watch it later after and that was a good decision so i knew everything the backstory of everything and like mona and everything so it was a good idea and i'm happy i did that and you know it's just such a good show it was really good and had potential to be amazing and that cliffhanger upset me so much i just want one more season for them to wrap everything up and give us the answers we deserve i hate how shows give us a cliffhanger and then get canceled like, i know that happens because they're gonna they don't know they're gonna get canceled and they think they're gonna get renewed and do a cliffhanger and everything but it still pisses me off because i want answers i need answers and so I'm really upset about that. I really hope we get an answer soon. Of course, we're not going to get a season two, but I really hope someone says who killed him. Someone confirms it because I would really like to know because I'm still really upset about that cliffhanger and I want answers and I also want to see Allison and Mona back, but that's just me. And then with the original Sin, this show is so damn good. If you haven't watched it, and you are a fan of Pretty Little Liars, you should watch it. I know people had their doubts on it, and I did too. I did an episode about the first five episodes of Original Sin, and I said in it that I had my doubts on it, and I was worried because it was I thought it was too soon, and also the Riverdale writer, creator, whatever. I don't remember what Roberto is to Riverdale. I forgot. But because he was doing it, I was really worried about that. And I just didn't think they were we were ready for a reboot because it's only been a few years. But I'm really happy they did it. It was so good. I'm, like, obsessed with it. And it got me back into my Pretty Little Liars phase, which I'm really thankful for. Even though I don't think I was ready to go back into that yet because that was put me through a dark time. But, you know, it's so good, and I'm so happy we got a season two. I was so worried that we weren't, because even though it was a hit, or 
I don't know if exactly what's hit, but I know everyone loved it or most of the fans loved it. I was still worried that we weren't going to get renewed just because everything was getting canceled and I was just worried about HBO canceling us and everything. So I'm so happy we got a season two, even though we have to wait probably like two years. I'm so happy and I can't wait to see what happens next season. I'm just so excited and I'm really intrigued. I'm also really happy that they didn't make us wait multiple seasons to get an answer about who A was. I'm happy that they told us at the end of the season. Even though it was kind of a letdown, I was expecting something else. I am happy about everything and I love the new liars. I love Kelly. I love all of it. It's so good. And if you haven't watched it, and you're a Pretty Little Liars fan, you should definitely watch it. It's really good. I think you'll love it. Okay, so the next topic is from someone I don't know how to say the username, so I'm just going to put it in the description. I'm going to put all their, the usernames that I got questions and topics from in the description, so just look for that. So they wanted to get my opinion on Caleb and Spencer's relationship, which is something I hate talking about, but I'm going to do it. I hated them i despised them i think it might have just been because i was such a hardcore spencer and toby shipper and also a halem shipper i was a spoby and halem like hardcore shipper i fucking loved them and i just didn't think caleb was the best person for spencer i don't know why i just didn't and it was just so upsetting to like, see them together and seeing hannah was engaged but she was jealous and she still loved caleb and caleb still loved hannah which was an issue and i think that's what also upset me too was the fact that caleb was still in love with hannah while he was with spencer it, it just upset me so much i wish he was honest with her and he did cheat on her i'm pretty sure because he kissed hannah i think when they were together i don't know and it just broke my heart for spencer even though i hated them i fucking love spencer so much and just seeing her hurt and seeing her like worried about it and telling her not her telling him that she loved him and he didn't love her back like that's gotta hurt i mean i've never experienced that because i've never like had been in a relationship had to deal with anything like this but it's gotta hurt like that looks seems so fucking messed up and it was just so stupid to make them together i don't know what they were thinking i know a couple of people did like them which i mean if you did i mean go off like i won't judge if you like them or not like i know we all have our own opinions on ships and characters and everything so i won't judge but i personally hated them you know so i don't know i don't I really am so happy that they weren't Endgame. I would have cried if they were Endgame. I I mean, okay, here's the thing. I get that they probably wanted Spencer to be with someone while Toby was with another girl. And maybe Caleb made the most sense to them. To me, it didn't make any sense. I was still really confused about it. Especially because you don't date your friend's ex-boyfriend. Even though, okay, I have made exceptions for it in All-American with Spencer and Olivia that is different in my opinion yeah that's complete to me that's completely different and if you want me to say why comment and i will like explain to you why i think it's a little bit different but it's still messed up and i they shouldn't do that you shouldn't break girl code you just shouldn't especially when hannah in season three was talking to i think ren or i think it was ren about how spencer is her best friend or spencer's her friend or whatever and she can't date ren the fact that Spencer didn't do that with Caleb when it's completely different with Caleb than it was with Ren because Caleb and Hannah were in love. They dated for a while and Ren and Spencer I don't think were in love because she was in love with Spencer. It, it's really upsetting. I didn't approve. Still pissed off that it happened. You know, it's okay. So the next topic is my opinions on Allison and Emily's relationship which I kind of already said kind of before like how i felt about them i think it made the most sense um for endgame i think it made the most sense for them to be endgame and just for them to be together i mean emily has loved her or i don't know if she was in love with her i think i know she had a crush on her maybe she was in love but she had a crush on her before she even left and before like, she went missing and everything she we knew she had a crush on her and she always did have like a special place in her heart for allison like we know that and so they just made the most sense when maya and 
Maya died. When Maya died, they just made the most sense to me. And I didn't like Emily and any of her other girlfriends. I don't think. There might have been one I liked. I know I hated Paige, which is very upsetting because she was the longest girlfriend. Or not the longest girlfriend. She was around the longest, which was really disappointing. And I hate her. But to me, they made the most sense. And so I'm happy they were together. And I'm happy they did that. Because I always like when... A crush turns into a relationship I know there's a better way to say that but I tried to in my head and it just didn't make any sense they kind of remind me not kind of okay in a way about Styles and Lydia just the way Styles like had a crush on Lydia and like Emily had a crush on Allison and they didn't want anything to do with each other at first and then they fell in love and dated and everything and so that kind of reminds me kind of even though Stydia I like them more than emerson forever but you know i don't know why i thought about that it's just i love those kind of relationships and those ships i just love them so the next topic or thing they gave me was the liars should have been or should have gone to the police when a started blackmailing them and i 100 percent agree with that statement they should have i mean that's just common sense i like who wouldn't if someone was stalking you and like blackmailing you and trying to get you to do stuff who wouldn't go to the police like i mean i would i just think that was kind of stupid for them not to do but that might just be me i don't know why they didn't i think maybe they were just super scared that people wouldn't believe them and maybe because they thought they would be able to figure out who it was because they were like able to see what they were doing and knew everything maybe that was it but it still was stupid for them not to go to the police and lying to almost everyone that they were like fine it bothered me that they finally told people in season two and then season three when it started getting really bad and it was the blackmailing got worse and they were doing things to threaten their lives like they didn't say anything like that's kind of messed up i know the boyfriends knew i think yeah the boyfriends did know at like a point but the fact that the parents didn't know was really upsetting i think they should have just told them i mean you're they're gonna care because you're their kid and you're getting blackmailed and getting stalked and everything and they're trying to pretty much kill you they were trying to kill them so that's how i feel but that might be different and then the next one is how no Khan should have been helping them and not the villain which okay i've never thought about that i don't know why i just never have i tried not to think about noel Khan because he just pisses me off but that would have been interesting i would have liked that i hated how like a lot of the characters turned out to be villains like the ones at school and trying to kill them it would have been nice to see a few of them like, helping them i think lucas did i'm pretty sure lucas helped them but i would have liked to see noel help them and that would have been interesting i would have liked that i also kind of did like noel and aria in season one when they dated for a bit they were kind of cute and so i would have i would really like that and he even said something to ezra about how them together like he saw them together and it was wrong and how that shouldn't happen and he i think he threatened to go to the police or the principal or something to tell on him which i mean as he should i mean it's such a fucked up thing and so i um, kind of agree with that that noel should have been helping them i mean it would have made a lot of sense i think i mean of course now with him being the villain it wouldn't have but in season one if he, they never tried to make him the villain and he was just like dating aria and wanted to protect her and everything it would have been interesting and i would have liked it a lot okay so the next one is from find me in the kingdom and the first one that they asked me to talk about or like the topic they gave me was how jenna was a rapist which i'm really upset that they never actually like addressed that or they did but not well like she got away with it somehow which is so fucked up like she deserved to go to maybe not jail i mean i don't know if she deserved i mean no she deserved to go to jail i don't think they were ever gonna do that but she deserved to get some kind of punishment like why would she get away with it that's just so stupid there were so many like topics that they kind of brush past i think i think they did that for a couple i know for fact this one i'm pretty sure there was something else too that kind of just brushed over and this is a really serious topic and i wish they took it seriously and just didn't move past it i wish it was like kept not kept being brought up but like got addressed and like 
Deanna got in trouble for doing it and people more people found out like it was just such a messed up thing to do and just Jenna being blind getting away with it like that's so stupid I mean Jenna deserved something bad to happen to her I liked her at the end of it because she helped with finding out that Spencer had a twin but still she was a bitch and she deserved to get punishment for doing this to Toby Toby didn't deserve no one deserves to get raped like this doesn't no one deserves this to happen to them and the fact that in this damn show that they didn't do anything about it and they just let her get away with it is so stupid like I don't care if it's a fake show if some shit happens that's serious and happens in real life to real people it deserves to be talked about and not only that it deserves to have some kind of punishment even in a show because it deserves it out in real life so that's how I feel on that I mean I don't know what else to say about that it was just so stupid that she got away with it they, they just glossed over it and like made her the victim and i mean yeah jenna had some things happen to her she went through quite a bit i mean she's blind yeah but she was a bitch she deserves to get in trouble they should not have glossed over it like that and they expected toby to like get along with her and everything and like her bitch no she he has every right to hate her he shouldn't have to be like like her and be a part of the family and do things with her no she's a bitch she deserves to get in trouble they shouldn't have glossed over it like that it's just so stupid and it pisses me off so much that they just kind of went over it okay so the next topic that they sent in was mona having bpd and they wanted me to talk about that so i don't have bpd i only know like a lot about it or i don't know everything i know quite a bit from research i did like a few years ago and then now i did some research too recently because i want to know more and i've listened to interviews of like people who have it so i know quite a bit i don't know everything of course so i'm not going to talk about it a lot just because i'm not fully educated on it but so personally i think that if someone had it in the show it was spencer and even the person who sent me like this topic said that as well and I don't remember them ever saying Mona had it. I don't know why I don't remember that. But I was scrolling through my archive stories on Instagram a few days ago, or it was like a week ago. And I remember saying, I always remembered this. I did remember saying something like this somewhere. And I was going through it, and I saw something about how I thought Spencer had it like back when I was watching it. And, I mean, I do think if someone did have it, on the show it was her and even the person who sent me this they said the symptoms don't even li line up with like mona and the diagnosis wasn't even accurate and i kind of do agree with that i mean from what i know about bpd to me it didn't make much sense that mona had it i still don't think she did i don't think it was right i mean maybe she did but from what i got from it and from the show and like seeing it and do my research i think if anyone had it it was spencer but i that might just be me i mean because like i said before i don't have it and i only know it from some research i did and so i might be wrong and if i am i'm so sorry please let me know but that's how i feel and also this person feels that way as well so but yeah I'm just gonna move on though because I don't know enough about BPD to keep going on about it but I'll keep doing my research on it okay so the next thing that they sent me was talk about how Allison was supposed to be a but she gained weight so Marlene's evil ass whipped up the Alex Drake storyline okay so if this is true please let me know because I actually have no idea because because I watched it like a few years after it ended I wasn't a part of like the live like, the live tweeting i don't really know what happened during the show so like with the cast so please let me know if this is true or not because if it is that's so fucking stupid i would have rather have allison be a i really wish one of the girls were a and i will say that for forever i'm still so upset the girls one of the girls weren't a like that would have been so good it's such a good thing to do and it pissed me off that they whipped up the alex Drake storyline i mean why does that kind of make sense i don't know why it makes sense that this might have happened i really hope it de didn't happen because that's so messed up like why would marlene do that i really hope it's not true i really do but then again the alex Drake storyline kind of seemed rushed in my opinion like i just think it seemed rushed and that might just be me it was just really stupid so if this is true i'm gonna be really pissed off like 
I love Sasha so fucking much. I love her so much. And this is just going to upset me so much. Just hearing this, even if it's not true, it just upsets me hearing this. So I really hope it's not true. I'm just going to go away before, uh, or move on before I get pissed off. But it, it kind of does. It doesn't make sense. It just, the Alex Drake's friend that made no sense. So I wouldn't be surprised if that actually did happen. Okay. So the next one is from oh geez okay how am i gonna say this anna g's with three z's at the end i'll put it in the description so you guys know who i'm talking about but so the first one is spencer's twin which i kind of not really brought up i kind of talked about it last topic and how i feel about that okay and i'll full out a minute it was fucking stupid i will never not be pissed off about that because, you know, when I watched it, it was before I watched a lot of big shows. Like, I watched Stranger Things before that. And I remember I watched season, like, season three came out a few days before I even started, before I started Pretty Little Liars. And so I kind of knew what good TV was, because Stranger Things was fucking phenomenal. But I didn't really know, like, I hadn't watched, like, a lot of, like, the longer shows yet. And so Pretty Little Liars was my favorite show at the time. And I thought it was amazing and everything was so good. But then when I watch Vampire Diaries and all of that, like I watched Vampire Diaries, I watched the originals, I watch Fosters, I watch Gossip Girl. I'm like, okay, yeah, this shit kind of sucks. Honestly, like it wasn't good. Like, don't get me wrong, Pretty Little Liars was good. It was. And they had their moments that it was phenomenal. Like season one through three, fucking great. Season four was good as well. And I really like season five. Like it was good. But there were some things that were just really bad. And Spencer's twin was one of them. It was just such a stupid thing to do. And I'm still so pissed off about it. You know, some people I know figured it out. Because I watched some reactors who watched Pretty Little Liars. I think around the time it came out. Like the series finale. And so they were watching it live, I think. And they called it. And they had a feeling that that was going to happen. Not me. I mean, maybe now if I watched it, I might have figured it out. But then... I also don't think I would have because it didn't make any sense to me. I'm still so confused about that whole situation. And them showing the flashbacks and everything, like with her and Ren, I'm still so confused about that. I still don't get it. It just throws me off. It's just, it's so stupid. I don't get why they did that. It's just really upsetting to me. But, you know, it's okay. I mean, I'm trying to get over it you know i'm trying to get over the fact that this happened i try to block spencer's twin or what's her name alex i try to block alex from being a out of my head because to me it's just still so stupid and it just pisses me off so much especially the fact that toby had sex with spencer's twin is insane to me like okay here's the thing i don't know much about sex like i don't know what it's like or anything but i assume that you should know if it's a different person like it should be different or it should feel different i assume i mean i might be wrong please correct me if i'm wrong but personally i just think that you should be able to figure it out like you should it should feel different i think i don't know i'm a virgin so like who the fuck knows um, but i might be wrong but that's how i think i mean who the fuck knows i'm probably wrong wouldn't be surprised if i am but, you know, it's okay. But that whole Spencer thing, I will never be over it. And I'm still pissed off about it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the questions. Which I have a lot of questions. But because they're not, like, the topics, I'm probably not going to go as into them as I did for the other one. It's just because they're, like, sim mo I think most of them are simple questions. I don't know because I haven't read them in forever. But, you know... I'm just going to get straight into it. And I'm also not going to say the usernames again because they're all from pretty much the same people. And I'm just going to put them all, all their um, usernames in the description so you can find them if you wanted to on Twitter. So the first question is, who did, did you think A and 8D was before it was revealed? So, um... I don't know. I'm trying to remember because it was a while ago. I don't really remember. I know for AD, I gave up completely on guessing who it was because I got it wrong each time. So I kind of just gave up for AD. And also, I th think I had no, I didn't have any idea at that point. So I gave up. I, I just gave up and didn't care about who that was at that point. But for A, I thought it was Melissa. 
I also kind of thought it was Ren at one point. I don't know why. I just kind of thought it was Ren. But those were my two people. But of course I was wrong. I mean, I'm really bad at guessing and like, coming up with theories. I'm better now, but I'm still awful. And back then I was awful. So I kind of gave up on guessing who was what. So yeah, I don't know. For AD, I think maybe my guess was... I don't know, I'm trying to think. I think I also thought it was Melissa for AD, probably, just because I thought she had to be at one point. Like, I'm so mad they didn't make Melissa A at one point. That would have been interesting. And then with CC, literally would have never guessed that. That storyline was so damn confusing. Like, the Spencer's twin one was as well, but the whole backstory on CC and everything... <sighs> in charlotte or charles or whatever it was that confused the crap out of me because i wasn't expecting that i was like who's charles and then they were like charles the cc or charles the Char charlotte who is cc really threw me off i don't know it just threw me off a lot that was so confusing to me i hope i'm not the only one but you know okay so the next one is what was the healthiest ship or couple of the liars in your opinion okay that's hard because they all have their issues i think probably the healthiest maybe i don't know i'm trying to think i think it might have been spencer and toby i want to say that actually no forget it because they kind of did fight a lot but kind of i don't know that's that's a really hard question i think it might have been emily and maya for when they were together they were pretty solid and then Hannah and Caleb, for the most part, were good. And Spencer and Toby were good, for the most part. But they had their issues, of course. I don't know. I mean, that might just be me. Who thinks that? I mean, I don't know. I think, I think for me, it would be Emily and Maya, probably. Because they were, had the most. Not the most. They had the least amount of fights, I think. Maybe. And Spencer and Toby. I don't know. But Spencer and Toby and Caleb, they were really good as well. So, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so, the next question is, what would you do if you were one of the liars? Um, that is a good question. I've never thought about this. Honestly, I probably would go to the police because I get, I, I'm a very paranoid person and I get paranoid over everything. So, if this starts happening to me, I am calling 911. I am, like, I am calling the cops. I am, like, I'm going to run away. I am flying to a different country. Like, I would be out of here in a second. So, I probably would call the cops. I mean, I'm still pissed off that they didn't do that. And I know I talked about that with one of the topics, how they didn't call 911. But, like, I still don't remember why they didn't. And it's just such an upsetting thing. Call 911? Jeez. I mean, that probably would have helped you a lot. And you might have not got stuck in that, um, what's it called? The dollhouse. You might have not got stuck in there, even though that was so good those episodes were fucking phenomenal i'm still obsessed with those episodes and uh this is making me want to rewatch you know maybe i will watch rewatch the dollhouse episodes on hbo even though i'm not mentally prepared to go through the whole show again i will rewatch the dollhouse episodes at one point because i know i did watch the halloween episodes on halloween a few nights not a few nights ago a few years ago i think it was around a few months after I finished it, like October 2019, I did watch a Halloween episode for Halloween Clothesboro. I mean, I've rewatched some episodes, not planning on watching the whole show again, but you know, I might do the dollhouse episodes because those fucking slaps. Those were really damn good. Okay, so the next one. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. What do you did you think? about or what do you think about allison and ezra's relationship oh my gosh i completely forgot about that what the hell i completely why okay it's coming back to me now i kind of remember reading this now but oh my gosh well this is great i'm really happy i blocked that out of my memory and now it's coming back oh gosh um you know it was a messy situation. It was wrong. It was messed up. The fact that Ezra was with two of them, the girls, and underage as well. Okay, yes, Allison did lie about her age, but 
still it was a messy situation it was messed up and the fact that she he wrote a book about her that whole storyline was awful i completely forgot about that like okay wait let me take that back it wasn't awful like that i meant it was awful like that whole situation the storyline was good i enjoyed it but that whole situation was awful like poor aria damn i completely blocked that out of my memory and i wish i did i don't know damn it was just a messy situation it was just messed up it was so bad like ezra needs to be put in jail for two girls and writing a book about her and then oh my gosh the fact that aria got back together with him after the whole book thing is so messed up and so bad i still have not forgiven her for that okay so the next one did ren like spencer more than melissa oh my what the fuck these questions are really making me think hard because i actually have no idea i think that probably maybe i don't know i think ren liked both of them clearly but in different ways i don't know if that made any sense but i just i don't know why like or what to say i just don't like I completely forgot about Ren and Melissa and now it's coming back to me. I'm like, that's such a messy situation. <laughs> like, that was so bad. I think that Ren might have liked Spencer a little bit more. You could kind of tell because Melissa and Ren were around each other after and I'm pretty sure that they never hooked up or anything. Maybe they did, I just don't remember. But like, they never really had like chemistry or like flirting, but Ren and Spencer kind of flirted and everything and they kissed multiple times, I think, after that. So maybe, I don't know. I think, I think, I try to block these things I don't like out of my memory and now I don't even know what to say. So we're just going to move on. Okay. The next question is, were their secrets very hideous? Oh, um, I'm trying to think about what half the secrets were. Some of them, yes. Like the Arya and Ezra thing, yes. That secret, 100%. Some of the other ones weren't that bad. I mean, I don't think. What was the other one? What were the other ones? I'm trying to think of what some of the other ones were, but like, I don't think. They weren't awful. Like some of them, yes. Some of them were awful. Like, spencer and ian and spencer and ren like that thing especially spencer and ian i think that was even worse those were really bad especially because ian got with allison at one point i'm pretty sure or was going to so those things were bad but i don't know what else what like emily did what did emily do i don't know i'm trying to think about it i don't remember what emily and hannah did that were like hideous i mean hannah did shoplift actually i do remember that but I think other than that, they weren't that bad from what I remember. I mean, please let me know. Because it's been like three years and I haven't rewatched, or no, I've rewatched a few episodes, but not all the way through yet. So some things are completely like left to my memory. So I don't remember all their secrets. If you do, please let me know what ones I miss. I really hope I didn't miss anything. I know I did, but I don't know why I can't remember like the big ones, or not the big ones, just some of them. But I'm just going to move on and go to the next question because I can't think of any of the other secrets for some reason. So the next one is, if Arya didn't end up with Ezra, who should she... Should... Who... Why can I not read this? Who should she... Who should have... Why can I not read? Okay. Who should have Arya end up, ended up with if it wasn't Ezra? We're going to word it like that. Um, I don't know. I don't remember who was she with. Damn. Oh, never mind. Jason. She should have ended up with Jason Delorantis, and I will say that. I, like I, I did say this before, I did ship Ari and Ezra at the beginning. I did. I mean, I don't anymore, and I really do ship Ari and Jason. I kind of did it when I was watching the show as well. I did kind of ship them, but now I'm completely on board and wish they were in game. They should have been. They were really cute. And I think if Allison wasn't Jason's sister they would have ended up together probably and if Ezra got out of the picture i wish she did they would have been cute like damn i wanted to see them get married what the fuck i'm so mad about this okay so the next one is was maya's death necessary no 
it wasn't i will stand by that i loved maya so much she was one of my favorite characters in season one she was like one of the first characters i fell in love with and i really loved her and emily from the start and i'm just so upset like i'm so upset they shouldn't have killed her it like i get they were trying to cause chaos probably and start that storyline with nate for the next season and season three was the best season in my opinion or it was my favorite so i'm not mad about the nate storyline and that happening but it wasn't necessary i mean they could have killed off ezra that would have been even better but they didn't i mean maya was such an amazing character and i loved her so much and emily and maya should have been in game i mean i stand by that it wasn't necessary that's it that okay so if Maya was alive, could she have been A? Um, I don't think so. I mean, maybe she could have. I feel like they might have done something like that because they love do throwing like cl not cliffhangers. They love throwing plot twists and changing things up. Like when we found out Toby was A, which I'm still have not forgiven him for putting me through that much pain. Um, maybe. I mean, they could have done that. They might have done it with toby like what they did with toby with maya because i know they did that with caleb or they didn't they filmed that scene that toby did with when we found out he was a with caleb and Paige, which i really wish they did with Paige because that would have been much better for my mental health but they could have done that with maya i'm happy they didn't also she was dead during that so they couldn't have but i'm happy that she was never a and i'm part of me maybe is happy she died just so she couldn't be a and she couldn't hurt me because I feel like she probably would have been A if she was alive because Marlene loves throwing these random ass twists and turns in, in the show. So, you know, maybe. Okay, so the next question is, do you think Paige and Emily should have gotten a proper ending? No, not at all. I fucking hate Paige. I think most people do. And from what I heard, everyone hates her. On Twitter, like, everyone hates her. I mean, there might be page lovers in, like, the world. I mean, I'm not gonna judge, even though I hate her. I, I mean, you do you. I'm so happy they didn't get a proper ending. And, like, not a proper ending, a happy ending. I'm so happy they weren't endgame. I was so worried at one point, like, during season seven when Paige showed up again. And her and Emily were kind of flirting. Not really dating, just kind of flirting and everything. I was so worried that they were gonna make them endgame and not allison and emily and i'm so glad they weren't endgame like why was Paige in it so much like that was like a serious relationship i get it but they could have done it with a character we actually like i mean i would have appreciated that a lot more i just i hate Paige. there's just something about Paige. i think it was the probably the fact that she tried to drown emily which is why i hate her the most and the fact that she dated her after and just kept like going not going but like kept i don't even know why i said kept going but just kept um dating her like for that long period of time they were a pretty serious relationship i mean i wanted emily to be happy because i love her but she could have been happy with someone else i mean i'm so glad that Paige left the show too when i heard she was moving to california when i was watching i was or wherever she was i was so happy i was like jumping for joy it was like the best day of my life damn i'm so glad she left okay Okay, do I think Allison and Emily were better as friends than a couple? N not really. I mean, personally, I don't. They were kind of... They weren't really toxic when they were a friendship, but they weren't on the best terms at some point. I think them as like a couple was better because, of course, Emily had feelings for her, or they both had feelings for each other. And even though their friendship was good at times, I think it was better as a couple just so they wouldn't have to like not lie about their feelings but hide it and they could just be honest and everything that's how i personally feel but that just might be me okay so does jenna deserve justice for losing her eyes um or her eyesight um i would say no i mean i will say like no one deserves to lose their eyes or become blind no one deserves that but i'm just gonna say no because i hate her and it's fictional and also she raped toby and she's a bad person so i'm gonna say no and she also i'm pretty sure shot spencer or someone shot spencer i think it was her so i'm gonna say no for that reason or, or for those reasons you know okay the next one is do you think hannah should have been with travis even when caleb came back oh my gosh i completely forgot about travis damn that's i forgot about him um i think probably yeah i would say that she should have stayed with him 
just because you know i hate when the, you get with another person and then the person you're in love with or like the like the popular ship or like the main ship comes back or the main person in a ship comes back and then they get back together right away i mean i liked it in the moment because i love halo but of course i kind of knew they were going to be end game eventually or like they were going to get back together so i wish she stayed with travis a little longer i think that would have been a better storyline and just better than them getting back together and drinking all the time like they did even though i didn't even like travis i felt bad for him in the moment and i think that would have been better they should have stayed together for a bit longer so we got jealous caleb and so we could see hannah with a different guy even though i love caleb and when i love couples i want them to be together but i also sometimes like seeing them with different people to kind of grow and evolve and get better and like not better but get smarter and like have ex not have experience i'm trying to think of the right thing to say but just like kind of grow and see that okay we should be together now we're like both we're mature and we're we, we'll be better now i don't know if that made any sense but if it did that's just me okay so next one is who surprised or shocked you the most out of all the a's probably um I don't know what the fuck I think probably Cece or Spen not Spencer or Alex probably one of those two for Mona I was kind of shocked but I was mostly sad because I really liked her and then with like, Alex I mean I wasn't expecting it I was one of those people who literally did not see the twin storyline coming at all and so that was pretty shocking to me and I thought it was a dream at first when she woke up. I thought it was a dream. And then when I realized it wasn't, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what is this show? That's when it really hit me that this show did not make any sense to me. Or, like, not the show. Like, this season was so, like, insane and like, through. Like, not... I'm trying to think. What, what am I trying to say? It was just insane. And, you know, I did see a thumbnail on YouTube before I watched the finale. I think it was, like, in, when I was on season three or four of alex and uh spencer on youtube i saw it i didn't watch the clip i just saw the thumbnail and the title and i thought it was a dream until i got to there i'm like okay so it's not a dream what the fuck and i'm pretty sure it like left my memory completely because i was just so th thrown off by it but so i was yeah pretty shocked about alex and alex a and spencer's twin and everything but with cc i said this before kind of i just wasn't expecting that that just kind of threw me off completely i thought it was like i said i thought it was melissa at one point so i mean that's just me but okay so the last not the last question i don't know why i said the last question the next question was the last season necess that necessary since it was a new thing torturing the girls um, I think they mean, like, with season six and seven, like, the second half of season six and seven, like, after the time jump. So, I'm gonna say no. I didn't like the time jump at all. I think that was not the best thing to do. I mean, usually I hate time jumps. I mean, that was my first time jump I had to deal with, it, and it went to shit, so, like, I hate time jumps now. I'm just gonna say no. I just didn't like it, and I wish that they ended it off in season three second half of season six because we got our end games and we got everything so i wish that happened but of course it didn't a part of me is kind of happy it didn't because we didn't get emily and allison together yet so we had to wait but i would have liked it more if they um ended it after prom with that whole um scene of them leaving college that would have been better in my opinion okay so how did you feel about ezra and Arya to together after learning he's her high school teacher um i kind of already said this in a way kind of um awful they sucked i mean now that i've grown a lot more and know how wrong it is i mean i knew it was wrong then i don't know why i shipped them in the first place but now like it's so wrong and it's like pedophilia and it's just so messed up like why did the, he not go to jail why didn't have her parents tell somebody to get him in jail that's what confuses me the most why didn't they tell him them and then when she was a senior and they dated because he wasn't at the school and everything they could have told the police or the school that, that they were together even though he's not her teacher anymore it's still messed up and the fact that he, they stayed together after him finding out he was her teacher and he was like oh no did they stay together 
yeah what's it stupid yeah they shouldn't have i mean it's so such a stupid thing to do okay so who was your favorite liar and why okay so my favorite liar is spencer um i'm trying to think of why i don't know i just fell in love with her there's something about her and you know i say this usually i do like the bitchy characters there are some shows that i don't i fucking love spencer the most i think it's just there's something about her i think it's how smart she is honestly like i'm not the brightest person ever like i'm a lot better than i was but you know i love seeing how hard she works and she's such a hard worker and she's just so smart and such a good detective i think that's probably it i honestly don't know why she's my favorite i've never really thought about that she just became my favorite one day and i've been like obsessed with her ever since i think it's probably is because like how smart she is and how good she is at what she does i think that's probably it okay so going off the first question that they asked who was your favorite a mona 100 percent was mona probably because the, the other ones didn't make sense but i think it was mona 100 percent. so i mean that's what i think i know that I wanted Arya, or now I want Arya. At first, I didn't care, but now I'm so mad they didn't do Arya, like, watching edits and everything. That would have been so good. And I heard somewhere that they, apparently they were going to make Arya, um, A, but then people figured it out, and so they didn't. If that's true, I'm gonna kill someone. I'm really upset that they didn't make Arya A. They should have made one of the girls A. I mean, that would have been so good and so interesting to watch, see them betray their friends. Like, come on, that would be good as fuck. I don't know. I'm still bitter about that. Okay. And so, who did you ship the most? For me, it's Bobby all the way. Yeah, I have to agree with you. It's Bobby for me as well. I don't know why I love them as much as I do. Like, some ships, they just come out, and I'm like, okay, you're my favorite. And I just keep falling in love with them. And each episode, I love them more, except when they were fighting. You know, I love Spoby so much and it pissed me off how much they fought because they they really fought a lot they had probably the most fights out of everyone i think i think that's true and it pissed me off that every time they fought or got into a little argument the man would dip like i'm so mad they never made him a series regular i thought he was at one point until i saw guest starring like keegan allen i'm like what the fuck so he's not a series regular i wish they changed him that would have been a life changer for me and also say that he wouldn't leave every five seconds or like every few episodes after they would fight like the fact that he would leave every time they fought or almost every time just upset me because that just shows he's not the best at dealing with things i don't know why he always left it upset me but since the beginning or not not since the beginning halo was my favorite at one point and then spoby so it's Spoby now and it has been Spoby for like the longest time ever. I think for like two months it was Halo at one point and then it was back to Spoby. So no no one will beat Spoby with PLL ships for me. I mean, they're the best. Okay. Which season was the best? Um, okay, let me think. I think for me it was season three. I mean I think I already said that, but sometimes it's hard for me to think about it because season one and two were really good as well. But I have to say season three probably was my favorite, even though it put me through like a, like a emotional damage. Like that was so traumatizing to see Toby A and Spencer finding out and being a wreck the rest of the season. That was a disaster. That really hurt me. I'm still not over it but it was probably season three and then season five probably was my second i know season five had its flaws i mean it wasn't great i, I mean it had its like issues but it was really good i think probably the fact it's up there because of um the dollhouse i think the second half of the season was really good and just like it was interesting i really enjoyed season five as well but for me i think that season one through three pretty little liars was like top tier and then season four and season four was really good as well and then season five kind of went downhill even though i liked season five i think is my second favorite i think in quality it kind of went downhill i just like it so much and then season six and seven just went completely downhill that's how i feel that might just be me okay how did you feel about a being revealed like 10 times um yeah so that confused me a lot i wish they didn't do that because you know i wanted 
I like when they do like straight answers and like, okay, this is A or like, this is what's going on. We're done now because then I don't have to think much about it. And I'm like, okay, we know who the villain is, whatever. But the fact that we thought at one point it was Melissa, Ian, everyone was A at one point. It had just upset me so much. Like, why would they do that? It was such a weird thing to do. I wish they didn't, like, keep doing that. Like, A had a whole team, and I wish they didn't do that. And, like, I wish they didn't have, like, the girls working for A. That would have been so good if they didn't. I would have rather, like, just one person be on A team. Everyone else knows nothing. And then maybe one of them. Maybe Aria being A. Like, that would have been my dream. I don't know. Okay, so the last question I have is the best friendship like who was the best friendship or my favorite friendship um that's a hard question I think I think it has to be actually Hannah and Emily probably I don't know I have such a soft spot for them I just love their friendship so much it's just so cute and pure I don't know I love Spencer and Aria as well but there's just something about Hannah and Emily that is like makes me happy i don't know i just love them i i love hannah even though spencer is my favorite i fucking love her but yeah that's the end of the questions and the episode thank you guys so much for listening to my pretty little liars three year special episode thing hope you all enjoyed i don't know when my next episode will be out yet i first gotta kind of figure that out and figure out everything but again thank you guys so much for listening And I'll see you guys soon.